Congratulations on your assignment to NSA Suda Bay. The installation is located on the island of Crete, one of the most sought after vacation destinations in Europe. That's a beach. It's nice. Before you arrive, however, there are a few things you'll have to prepare. First, get your civilian passport. Working in Greece provides a wonderful opportunity to travel Europe. You'll need a civilian passport or artfully forged documentation to do that. I suggest the passport. You will also need to bring three copies of your orders for processing. Make sure to send your flight information to your sponsor as soon as possible and remain in contact until your departure. Now what to pack? Bring your uniforms and as many of your civilian clothes as possible with you rather than sending them in your pack out. You are only allowed to wear civilian clothes off base and will be traveling in them. You'll also want your uniforms on hand so you don't have to wear those skinny jeans on your first day. Skinny jeans are played out. Now you're ready to go to Suda Bay. No, you won't be arriving in one of those. You'll either take a commercial flight or a military flight. Commercial flights arrive at the Hanya International Airport and military flights arrive at the air terminal on base. Your sponsor will be there to meet you when you arrive. If you fly commercial, you should carry 50 euro for a taxi just in case. Greeks use cash for almost all business transactions, so get euro as early as possible. There are euro ATMs at the airport and on base. At NSA Suda Bay, there are some installation specific policies you should be aware of. There is no drinking allowed for the first 30 days regardless of pay grade. But don't worry, there are plenty of things to do on base that don't involve drinking. Just don't take pictures. Photography is not allowed on base at any time. DOD personnel are not authorized to wear the following items off base. You ready? Uniforms. Yeah! Navy insignia. Yeah! Sports jerseys. Yeah! But ball caps are allowed. Yeah! The first 30 days for E5s and above can be a very busy time. Your sponsor will find you an opening in one of the local hotels if a room is not available on base. For those 30 days, personnel E5 and above will receive temporary lodging allowance. TLA includes the hotel bill, per diem, and incidentals. The transition into permanent off-base housing can be expensive. Most housing requires first and last month's rent up front. It may sound excessive, but it's a good idea to set aside two to $4,000 to cover the payment. Your basic allowance for housing will eventually reimburse you for these months, but you'll need to make the initial payment out of pocket. If you have any more questions, be sure to ask your sponsor. Now all you have to worry about is not missing your flight. It's a long swim.